Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect PancakeSwap to your Trust Wallet on your iPhone after the recent ban. Uh, so if you guys aren't aware yet, Trust Wallet does not have access to dApps anymore through Trust Wallet. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to still swap coins, how to sell, how to buy with PancakeSwap after this ban on iPhone. I'd just like to let you guys know as well, I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel. So if you guys are interested in learning how to buy, how to sell, and lots more, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly how to add PancakeSwap back to your Trust Wallet so you're able to do everything that you need to do. So if we just head over to Trust Wallet really quick, I'll show you guys uh, right now. If you go, uh, there is no more browser apps button at the bottom, unfortunately. So to be able to access pancake swap it's actually pretty simple you just have to use safari uh, so if you guys just go over to pancakeswap.finance i'll have a link in the description to make sure you guys use the actual pancake swap uh, it's very very important that you guys don't click on any bad links uh, anyhow once you're on the official pancake swap finance website all you guys have to do is go to the top right corner where it says connect so just go ahead and click on connect and then you want to instead of clicking on trust wallet here you want to click on wallet connect uh, so if you just click on wallet connect then we click on trust wallet it will then open up our trust wallet. It's asking us to connect to trust wallet. So we want to click on connect. And this is go back to your browser. So we can head back over to our browser. And then all we have to do is go to the top left corner where we see those three lines, click on that, and then just click on trade and then exchange. Once we do that, we just have to go back over to the top right corner, click on connect again, click on wallet connect again, trust wallet, and then it will pop this up again. So just go ahead and connect one more time back to the browser. And then we will then be connected just like how we were within Trust Wallet before. So this page is going to look pretty much the exact same as it did in Trust Wallet before. Uh, this time it will be with our wallet inside of Safari. And we'll be able to see our balance and stuff right here as long as you have the correct balance. And like I said before in all my other videos, as long as the BNB is in the smart chain, it will then show the balance here as long as it is in your Trust Wallet. Uh, so yeah, very, very easy to reconnect your wallet onto here. You can still buy and sell just like you did before. One thing I'd like to point out as well for you guys to make it a lot easier is if you just go to this little share button at the bottom of your Safari here and then scroll down, you'll actually be able to add PancakeSwap to your home screen. So if you just click on add to home screen here, you can then add the application to your home screen just like this. So you can just have PancakeSwap, click on add. And then as you guys see, you will have the pancake swap kind of like an app on your home screen, which makes it a lot easier to access and a lot more organized. Uh, and then every time that you open it up, all you guys will have to do is reconnect your wallet just by going to connect and then wallet connect and then trust wallet, the same exact thing we just did. So it's very, very easy to do. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to reconnect your pancake swap after the ban with trust wallet. This video does help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.